Elon Musk explains how Amber is pressuring him to pay her debt and how he said no. Many people have been wondering what will happen if Amber Heard cannot pay Johnny Depp's $10.35 million in damages since the verdict was announced. Some fear Heard's earnings from upcoming films will be taking, while others feel she will declare bankruptcy. Of course, she might turn to her friends and acquaintances for assistance. But who is the question? Who will Amber Heard seek assistance from? We'll find out in a second, but before we do, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell to be notified whenever we release a new video. Let's get started right now. When Johnny Depp and Amber Heard divorced in 2016, Heard claimed that she would donate the majority of her $7 million settlement to charity. She stated that the funds would be divided between the ACLU and Children's Hospital Los Angeles. The ACLU, on the other hand, claims that it has never received the full $3.5 million promised and believes that Elon Musk is responsible responsible for almost half of the donations received in Heard's name. Yes, you heard that correctly. Terence Doherty, the ACLU chief operating officer and general counsel, testified during Johnny Depp's defamation trial against Heard regarding what donations the organization has received from and on behalf of the former marriage. According to Doherty, the ACLU received four gifts totaling $1.3 million in Heard's name. However, just one of the payments came directly from Heard, a $350,000 payment in August 2016. Other payments included a 100,000 check from Depp, 500,000 from a Vanguard Donor Advice Fund, and 350,000 from a Fidelity Donor Advice Fund. Doherty believes Musk sent the 500,000 Vanguard contribution because of an email the Tesla founder sent to the charity about the donation. I described your plan to donate 3.5 million to the ACLU over the next 10 years because you believe in what they're doing, the email said. According to the email, the ACLU assumed Hertz 3.5 5 million donation would be made over a 10-year period. However, in 2018, the donations unexpectedly ceased. According to Doherty, the ACLU contacted Heard at one point and discovered that she was suffering from financial troubles. The ACLU is still 2.2 million shy of the overall pledged sum. And it's unlikely to change for who knows how long, because now that Amber Heard has been found guilty of defaming ex-husband Johnny Depp by a jury, she has been sentenced to pay 15 million in damages. Yes. $15 million. Although Heard's personal wealth is unclear, her work in television and films such as Aquaman and Aquaman 2 has made her millions. However, testimony at the trial revealed that Heard's career had come to a halt as a result of her court struggle with Depp. This begs the question of whether Heard's funds are deep enough to cover the damages, which totaled $10 million in compensatory and $5 million in punitive penalties. Fortunately, under Virginia law, the letter was lowered to $350,000 and the jury also awarded her $2 million in the lawsuit. Nonetheless, when asked if her client could afford to pay the $10.35 million verdict, Heard's attorney, Elaine Charlson Breedhoff, responded, Well, no, certainly not. Heard's financial possibilities in light of the judgment were not addressed by Breedhoff, but she did state that Heard intends to challenge the decision. If Heard does decide to appeal in the hopes of achieving a better verdict, she must first post bail for the full $10.35 million. There is also the option of declaring bankruptcy, which would discharge the 10 million she owes, but leave her liable for the 350,000 in punitive damages. It's going to be difficult for her, will it? However, because let us not forget, Elon Musk is still available to assist his ex-girlfriend Amber Heard. Musk and Heard dated briefly in 2016 following her divorce from ex-husband Johnny Depp. The couple were seen out and about, and Heard even shared a photo of Musk and her at an event. Musk was seen in the photo facing away from the camera, a lipstick mark on his face, as Heard posed for the camera. Isn't he adorable? However, in an August 2017 joint statement, the celebrity world's newest couple announced their split. Having read recent publications concerning our relationship, we would like to speak for ourselves. The statement said, our relationship has suffered greatly because we haven't seen one another often because of the distance. Of course, all partnerships have ups and downs. People occasionally send out speculative messages without our knowledge, believing that they are acting in our best interests. Other agendas are sometimes at work. It can't get a a little strange. However, we would like to emphasize unequivocally that we have the highest regard for one another, and it would be disturbing if someone got the sense that we did not. In an interview, Musk also addressed the separation, indicating how difficult it was for him. I recently ended my relationship with my girlfriend. I was madly in love. 
and it hurt terribly. I believe she broke up with me more than I broke up with her. For the past few weeks, I've been in excruciating emotional torment. Severe. It required every ounce of determination to attend the Model 3 launch without looking like the most miserable guy in the room. I was morbid for the majority of the day. Then I had to psych myself up by drinking a couple of Red Bulls, hanging out with positive people and telling myself I have all these people depending on me. Okay, go ahead and do it. If I'm not in love, if I'm not with a long-term mate, I cannot be happy. He said of relationships in general, I'll never be happy unless I have someone. Going to bed by yourself kills me. Musk has already been married twice, once for eight years to writer Justine Musk, the mother of their five children, and once for four years to actress Tallulah Riley. Following that, he dated her, and his most recent relationship was with singer Grimes, with whom he has two children. Following his divorce from her, the two dated on and off, but have recently called it quits, ostensibly for good. So, yeah, Musk is currently single and likely looking for a future partner. The question now is, will that fellow be heard? We don't really know, but we do know that if the two do reunite, Musk will most certainly pay off Hurd's obligations to Johnny Depp. But even if they don't, Musk might still bail her out for the sake of their old relationship. Recently, according to two experts, Elon Musk's decision to cancel his proposed $44 billion acquisition of Twitter could be a ploy to get a better price for the social media giant. In a letter announcing his decision to back out of the deal, Musk accused Twitter executives of refusing to provide information about the number of spam bots on its site. The billionaire chastised Facebook but for failing to comply with its contractual obligations throughout the acquisition process. He also claimed that the company had been unable to function normally for the past two months due to a hiring freeze and the firing of senior executives. But Twitter quickly retaliated, with its chairman revealing that the company planned to force the blockbuster takeover through the courts. Anne Lipton, a professor of corporate governance at Tulane Law School, told DailyMail.com, at least based on public reporting, his position is quite weak legally, but that doesn't mean he can legitimately threaten Twitter with major litigation headaches that could drag on for years. What I can't really figure out is his endgame. Twitter might be willing to settle for a small price reduction just to save time and money, but it's not clear to me that's what Musk wants. Lipton continued, if he wants to walk away completely, possibly paying the 1 billion break free, or if he wants a much bigger price cut, that's the kind of thing Twitter should be willing to dig its heels in over. The professor added, Twitter's chairman Brad Taylor tweeted that the board was committed to closing the transaction under the current terms of the deal and that they were confident they would win. The shocking update sent shockwaves through the business world, with the social media giant's stock dropping 6% in extended trading. It also came a day after Musk and Twitter CEO Park Argywell both attended the billionaire summer camp at Sun Valley in Idaho, though it is unclear whether they met. If this goes to the court of chancery and the court decides specific performance requiring Elon to purchase the company, said Adam Sterling, director of the Berkeley Center of Law and Business. If he disregards that it will be unprecedented. In the past, he's shown a willingness to do things like that. Experts speculated that Musk's move was an attempt to lower the price, with the stock trading at 36.81 on Friday night. The Tesla founder is scheduled to speak at the exclusive festival on Saturday morning, but he has yet to publicly comment on the deal's cancellation. With that, we have reached the end of this video. If you loved the video, please like it and share it with your friends. We'll be back shortly with another celebrity video.